Solitary confinement, good or bad? Putting it into perspective by Carl Torsgren's former deputy warden. Let's take a look in the dark, darkest and the most lonely shadows of the prison system, what we call solitary confinement. Let's look how some of these people have been locked away for the rest of their lives and the rest of society. They all have a story. And they all tell you that they don't belong there or it's the worst thing that's ever happened to them. The truth of the matter is, whether you believe in the prison system or the solitary confinement, that can be abused as a fundamental human rights. When you read or see something horrible, it's hard to see the other side of the story. And with some people, it can be very hard and lead them to lose friends or perhaps hope in the system. Empathy is an important human thing to have. So with a few steps, you can put things in perspective. Take a moment and research solitary confinement and then make up your own mind whether or not you think this is harsh and cruel and unusual punishment. When you get in a difference of opinion, take a deep breath and count to ten. Don't resort to screaming or irrational any. Do whatever you need to do to stay calm. This will help you think clearly. Solitary confinement is one of those issues or topics that will bring you to an emotional point and allows you to either see it clearly or be distorted by the factors that play into the scenarios of putting prisoners into the setting. Put yourself in that person's shoes. Think about all the hardship that they've been through. Now, think about exactly what you're concerned about. Sometimes there isn't a chance or even a change, but you gave it a try. And that's what this video is all about, putting it into perspective and letting you decide whether solitary confinement is a good thing or a bad thing. Um, obviously, like I said, there's a legitimate purpose for it, but I don't think it can be applied to the mentally ill. See the right in their side if there is one. Try as hard as possible to imagine why they think what they say is true. Take a break from the issue at hand and find a way to get away from it temporarily. Don't get consumed into the moment. Don't get consumed into the emotions. Solitary confinement is about human emotions or lack of human emotions impacted by a setting that is hard to describe but yet reality to many that live there. Talk to others at Karma. They will help you sort things out. Do some research. Ignore something is not always a solution and it can cause more misunderstandings. Read research about solitary confinement and make up your own mind. Talk to others. Read the research that's been done. The psychological reports have been issued regarding the mental impact of human beings in solitary confinement. Start listening to people more often to prevent misunderstandings in the future. Listening can also be very beneficial in any discussion or criticism. So be sure to do that so you can understand that person. If you did something wrong, apologize and move on. But in the case of solitary confinement, like I said, it's a passionate, heated discussion whether or not it's appropriate or not. But it's not for me to decide whether you think it's right or wrong. It's up to you to research and decide for yourself if you believe it's a fundamental part of running prisons today. That it's as appropriate. Thank you.